10 Upcoming Skyscrapers in China by 2030 In just a few short years, China has become one of the leading countries in the world for skyscraper construction, and they're not slowing down at all. By 2030, it is estimated that there will be over a thousand skyscrapers in China. That's more than double the current number. What's driving this construction boom? And how will these new skyscrapers change the skyline of China? Let's take a look at the upcoming skyscrapers in China in this video. Take a look at the 10 best new Chinese towers that will be completed by the year 2030. Number 10, Shuzhou Zhongnan Center. In Shuzhou, Jiangsu, China, at the Shuzhou Industrial Park, a structure with a height of 499.2 meters or 1,638 feet is now under construction. The building is known as the Shuzhou Zhongnan Center. The original proposal for the building was for it to be 729 meters in height. However, this was scrapped in 2019 due to China's ban on projects greater than 500 meters. A proposal for the new skyscraper was made in 2019 and construction began in the spring of that same year. The initial blueprint for the structure was for it to be 729 meters tall and to have 137 stories. Construction on the tower began in 2014 after it was first proposed in 2011. In addition to offices and luxury apartments, the structure was also supposed to house a hotel. In 2015, work came to a halt. The tower was canceled in 2019, and a new structure measuring 499 meters was built in its place. If the original tower had been built, it would have been the world's tallest. Number 9. Fo Sun Boon Center T1 the Bond Fo Sun Center, located at the confluence of the Yangtze and Han Rivers, is a beautiful addition to Wuhan's historic business center, taking design cues from the river, Wuhan's rich cultural history, and the adjacent linear park. The master plan includes plans for offices, hotels, shops, museums, and homes, culminating in two distinctive super-tall twin towers connected by a three-story bridge at the skyline's peak. The buildings are connected together aesthetically in a way that is reminiscent of the movement of water, and they've been strategically placed to take advantage of the surrounding riverscapes. The mixed-scale development is held together by a shopping district that links up with the busy Hansing Street near the Han River. The retail village's layout was inspired by the scale and organic assembly of traditional city blocks. By using contemporary methods and materials like glazed terracotta, this structure reimagines the traditional Guandu brick walls of the area. Although this section of the design is more linear, the water theme is still apparent in the facade's progressive rotation of terracotta bricks. The project employs a comprehensive environmental approach that bridges the gaps between design, technology, and way of life. The Bun Fu Sun Center is an example of a transit-oriented development that contributes to sustainable growth by optimizing the effectiveness of public transportation and reducing the building's demand for energy and other resources. The heat island effect is mitigated and runoff is decreased thanks to the greenery and roofs. Number 8. Wuhan CTF Finance Center Within Wuhan's bustling financial center on the banks of the Yangtze River stands the 475-meter-tall Wuhan Chao Tai Falk Finance Center, which is a mixed-use building. The center includes a 600-meter office tower, a 200-meter shopping mall, and two 200-meter residential towers on a total site size of 66,200 square miles. Sustainable design principles are woven into every aspect of the project, which aims to create a harmonious atmosphere that brings together people, nature, and the arts. The complex, which is part of a transit-oriented development initiative, connects the city's transportation center with large green spaces along the shore. The staggered, lit glass canopy atop the office tower is the inspiration for the building's name, Lighthouse of the 21st Century. This canopy serves as a beacon for everyone to see and is meant to represent optimism for the future. Number 7. Chu Sheng Building Located at the corner of Yanjiang Avenue and Siwei Road in Hankou, the 560,000 square meter Wuhan Chu Sheng Building is required investment of 20 billion yuan to compete. Li Zuyuan, the same celebrated architect who created the iconic Taipei 101 building, was responsible for the structure's design. Green and low carbon, thriving economically and culturally, looking toward the future, a city in the sky. With the Wuhan Greenland Center on the other side of the river as an echo, the Chu Sheng building will become a world-class urban human geography wonder and an era landmark of Wuhan's river city. Number 6. Tianfu Center 
The 489-meter-tall Panda Tower, a mixed-use, super-tall building built for China overseas Jia Long Chengdu real estate, was designed by American Prize for Architecture laureate Jamie Von Klemperer and Rebecca Ching of Cone Peterson Fox Associates to resemble the structure of mountains with cutouts and distinct sections that increase environmental efficiency by allowing wind to flow through the structure. Similar to how one would encounter a variety of climates and vegetation as they ascended a mountain, the architects of this super-tall tower have placed various gardens on different levels. Number 5. Fuyan Zhongsheng 108 IFC Zhongqing, China is home of the 498-meter or 1,634-foot-tall Fuyan Zhongshan 108 IFC skyscraper, originally known as the Bay Area Star. The 305-meter-tall International Trade Center will be surpassed as Zhongsheng's tallest building, with completion of the 108-story tower in 2029. Construction of the project began in 2021. Number 4. China International Silk Road Center Located in Qingdu, Xishuan, China, the Qingdu Greenland Tower is a super-tall skyscraper currently under construction. The building will rise to a height of 468 meters and contain 101 stories. The building process started in 2014 and ended in the beginning of 2019. Around the middle of the year 2020, construction resumed. By the time construction is finished, it will be the highest structure in Qingdu and all of southwest China. Number 3. Hexiyuji Tower A after winning an international design competition in 2018, the firm can now reveal its final plan for the 860,000 square foot South Hexi Yuji Financial District and Tower, which will feature a new 500 meter tall tower as the district's centerpiece, and add to Nanjing's already recognizable skyline. When completed, the tower will be one of the tallest structures in Nanjing and will be home to a world class observation deck with 360 degree views. When it's finished in 2025, it'll be one of the tallest buildings to receive the highest LED rating possible. Number 2. Shuzhou Zhongnan Center Under construction in Shuzhou, Jiangsu, China Shuzhou Industrial Park is the 499.2 meter tall Shuzhou Zhongnan Center. Due to China's limitation on structures taller than 500 meters, the original plans called for a height of 729 meters, and it was scrapped in 2019. After being proposed then, the building of the new tower began in early 2020 and is expected to wrap up in 2025. The 93 elevators in the building were designed to transport guests between the hotel, the high-end apartments, and the office floors. And in 2015, construction came to a halt. Number 1. Greenland Jinmao International Financial Center the building height for the Greenland Jinmao International Financial Center in Nanjing, China set to reach 1,640 feet or 499.8 meters. When finished in 2025, the 102-story structure will have surpassed the Zifeng Tower as Nanjing's tallest building by 158 feet. It'll be the world's tallest building when it's completed. And that's it for today's video, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to the next one. Thanks for watching.